What's up and welcome back to Sling and Lead. My name is Alan and today, as always, we're gonna bring you real life testing of things that will help you in the real world. You might watch other channels where they're shooting oxygen tanks. When are you gonna be shooting oxygen tanks for some tactical reason? It's just not gonna happen. We shoot real things that can be applied to practical situations where you may be defending your life. It's important to know what caliber to use based on penetration of certain items. This is a very serious channel and we're here to bring you this technical information that may one day, if you pay attention, save your life. Now let's shoot some catch up. All right, first up, I've got the Western Field 22 LR model 830 with this old 22 Winchester ammo. This ammo's probably 20 years old. Let's see how it does. This is gonna be messy. First shot, I already have ketchup on my leg. There's the first one. Entry and exit. We've got penetration into the second one, into the third, into the fourth, and it stopped there. The slug is somewhere in number four. Next up is the Sig Sauer P365XL, and I'm going to be shooting 150 grain. This right here is a synthetic tip. I haven't shot one of these before. Let's see how it does. Catch up on my head that time. All right, this was the first one. We've got our entry wound there and the clear exit. Entry and another clear exit. This is number four. Now we didn't have this penetration, so I guess the uh, I guess the nine millimeter round continued to go through. One, two, three, four, so that's five. And here would be six. You know what? Maybe it's this one here. Let me take a look. Why do I do this? Why do I do this? I'm not even monetized yet. Sometimes I wonder if it's really worth it. I hope you enjoy my sacrifice. I think I hear it. I heard it. Where'd it go? I found it. Let me clean it off a little bit. All right, here's what the synthetic round looks like. And this is a synthetic jacket around the lead. It's there to prevent the lead from fouling. You can see, you can see how much deformation there was. Okay, the nine millimeter went through six with that synthetic round. Let's see what we can do with the 357 Magnum shooting this 158 grain jacket at soft point. I don't know if this is the fourth bottle or the fifth bottle. If this is the fourth bottle, it went in and came out right there and then went into this one. This one we've got an entry right here. And on the back, this might be the fifth one. But again, I'm not sure because we do have a bulge right there. We might have a bullet in here. Next up is the 45 caliber mil spec 1911 from Springfield Armory, and I've got 230 grain jacketed hollow point.
don't worry it's just a little flesh wound all right got a little surprise at the end for you on this one right here looks like shot was a little bit low we've got penetration there all right i don't know how much of that got recorded said that my recording time has been reached i don't know it must be a a union camera needed a little break so it looks like this is the entry wound number one number two i just threw over to the side there was an entry and an exit and number three we just have this dented really bad this bottle the slug didn't make it all the way through and i didn't touch this or i didn't move it this is where i found the slug it's right here on the edge of the table that's why it didn't penetrate number three all right next up is the ar-15 this is chambered in 556 five, it's a cmmg mk4 and we're shooting 55 grain full metal jacket Wow, muzzle flash, big muzzle flash on that one. And it was raining for a good two seconds after that. I've got ketchup dotted all over me. It's not gonna be fun cleaning these guns tonight. And it's getting dark. If I'm lucky, that went through every single one of them and I won't have to do the 243. I'm losing daylight. I'm gonna talk really fast and hopefully I can catch up. All right, it's raining in Texas. Raining ketchup, that is. Looks like a scene from Dexter. <coughs> I went through all the bottles right here. None of them have been touched. These four have. That bullet must have been tumbling early on because it was really tearing up these jars. So we've got penetration on four. Now let's try to 243, finish these off. All right, I've got 12 containers left for the 243 Winchester with 95 grain AccuTip. I still have to put up the tent, have to start a fire, maybe get some dinner, clean off all the guns. Let's get this finished. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Did you see that go flying over top the tree? That was pretty cool. I got ketchup all over my leg. I'll show you in a second. This one got like 15 feet easy. Here it is. That one went over top the tree. These are my pants, my leg, and my shoes. All right, it's time for a little CSI. The 243 only went into three, so this is number one. Here we've got an entry right here in the middle, and we've got an exit right there and then this one number three we've got an entry wound here but there is no exit wound in the back so let's see if we can get this slug out of this guy and try to save his life before he loses too much catch up I don't think I'm gonna be able to save him he's losing way too much it looks like the round has broken into fragments. That's it for tonight. I got to get this place cleaned up and get this tent up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See ya!